The Retro Football League presents The Extra Point. Powered by Wolverine Studios Draft Day Sports Pro Football. It's time to take the field. What are you bringing to the table? And now, for our host, Lance McAllister. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of The Extra Point. I'm your host, Lance McAllister, and we're diving straight into the heart of the action as we recap the thrilling Week 16 of the 1978 NFL season. It's been a week filled with jaw-dropping plays, unforgettable performances, and unforgettable victories. But before we delve into the game highlights, I have a special announcement. Our very own St. Louis team owner, Matthew, has been crowned the 1978 Analyst of the Year. Congratulations, Matthew, for your insightful perspectives and exceptional dedication to the game. Now, let's get down to business and break down all the heart-pounding action from this week's games. From freezing temperatures to heated rivalries, the gridiron has seen it all. So grab your jerseys, settle in, and let's get started on The Extra Point. The Retro Football League presents The Extra Point. Powered by Wolverine Studios Draft Day Sports Pro Football. It's time to take the field. What are you bringing to the table? And now, for our host, Lance McAllister. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another exciting episode of The Extra Point. I'm your host, Lance McAllister, and we're diving straight into the heart of the action as we recap the thrilling Week 16 of the 1978 NFL season. It's been a week filled with jaw-dropping plays, unforgettable performances, and unforgettable victories. But before we delve into the game highlights, I have a special announcement. Our very own St. Louis team owner, Matthew, has been crowned the 1978 Analyst of the Year. Congratulations, Matthew, for your insightful perspectives and exceptional dedication to the game. Now, let's get down to business and break down all the heart-pounding action from this week's games. From freezing temperatures to heated rivalries, the gridiron has seen it all. So grab your jerseys, settle in, and let's get started on The Extra Point. Starting with the clash between the Chicago Bears and Washington Redskins, the chilly 31 degrees Fahrenheit weather and a light 5 miles per hour wind set the stage. The Bears triumphed, defeating the Redskins 20-3. The defensive player of the game was linebacker Wayman Bryant, who demonstrated his prowess with nine tackles, one tackle for loss, and one sack. The Bears established their dominance across the quarters, only allowing Washington to score three points. The final statistics showcased a total yards advantage of 266 for the Redskins against 193 for the Bears, with Chicago's defense holding strong. The Bears' 130 rushing yards complemented their 63 passing yards, overshadowing Washington's 127 rushing yards and 139 passing yards. Another riveting clash saw the Pittsburgh Steelers face off against the Denver Broncos. The weather registered 34 degrees Fahrenheit and a light 3 miles per hour wind. The Steelers emerged victorious with a commanding 35-6 scoreline. Quarterback Terry Bradshaw stood out, going 11 for 15 with 202 passing yards and two touchdowns. The Steelers' defensive end, L.C. Greenwood, put on a show with nine tackles, two tackles for loss, and two sacks. The Broncos struggled to find their rhythm, managing only 218 total yards compared to the Steelers' impressive 342. With 202 passing yards and 140 rushing yards, the Steelers asserted their offensive prowess. In a snowy encounter, the Cincinnati Bengals held on to defeat the Cleveland Browns 24-19. Despite the blustery 33 degrees Fahrenheit weather and 10 miles per hour wind, the Bengals emerged triumphant. Pat McNeil, a standout player for Cincinnati, showcased his dual threat abilities with 107 rushing yards and one touchdown, along with 36 receiving yards. The Bengals' strategy paid off as they secured touchdowns in the first two quarters, while the Browns struggled to keep up. Despite the Browns' valiant effort in the later quarters, the Bengals' lead proved insurmountable. Cincinnati's 302 total yards outweighed Cleveland's 349, solidifying their win. Braving an icy 11 degrees Fahrenheit weather and 1 mile per hour wind, the Dallas Cowboys emerged victorious against the New York Jets with a score of 35 to 17. The star of the show was running back Tony Dorsett, who dominated with 216 rushing yards and an incredible four touchdowns, albeit with one fumble. On the defensive end, linebacker D.D. Lewis shone with 12 tackles, five tackles for loss, one interception, and one forced fumble. 
Despite the Jets' 281 total yards, the Cowboys' powerful offense, with 214 rushing yards and 160 passing yards, secured the win. In a contrasting indoor setting with a comfortable 72 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, the Detroit Lions bested the San Francisco 49ers 20-7. Running back Lawrence Gaines was a force to be reckoned with, amassing 175 rushing yards, one touchdown, and one fumble. Despite the 49ers' valiant effort, the Lions secured a lead in the first quarter and never relinquished it. Detroit's 338 total yards, including 267 rushing yards, outshone San Francisco's 231 yards, and they held the 49ers to a single touchdown. Moving to a chillier 51 degrees Fahrenheit weather with a brisk 12 miles per hour wind, the New Orleans Saints dominated the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with a commanding 37-9 victory. Running back Chuck Muncie showcased his abilities with 108 rushing yards and two catches for 16 yards. On the defensive side, linebacker Wayne Coleman's performance included 11 tackles, two tackles for loss, one sack, and one forced fumble. The Saints' offensive strength translated into 436 total yards against the Buccaneers' 213, with a solid ground game contributing to New Orleans' victory. In a match characterized by a 28 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and a moderate 6 miles per hour wind, the Philadelphia Eagles soared past the New York Giants with an impressive 44-17 victory. Quarterback Joe Ferguson had a standout performance, going 23 for 26 with 285 passing yards and an impressive 5 touchdowns. On the defensive end, linebacker John Bunting tallied 5 tackles, 2 sacks, and 1 forced fumble. The Eagles' offensive prowess translated into 367 total yards, overshadowing the Giants' 287 yards and securing a decisive win. With a chilly 28 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and an 11 miles per hour wind, the Atlanta Falcons flew past the St. Louis Cardinals, clinching a commanding 41-10 win. Running back Delvin Williams showcased his versatility, tallying 84 rushing yards and two touchdowns along with a 10-yard reception. The Falcons dominated the latter quarters, outscoring the Cardinals 33-0 in the second half. Despite the Cardinals' 241 total yards, the Falcons' balanced attack secured 385 yards, including 241 passing yards. In Baltimore, a 40 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and a light 2 miles per hour wind set the backdrop for the Buffalo Bills' resounding 47-7 victory over the Baltimore Colts. Running back up. J. Simpson's performance was the highlight, as he notched 231 rushing yards, two touchdowns, and one catch for 39 yards. Cornerback Tony Green's defensive play was noteworthy, recording two interceptions and five tackles. The Bills' dominant showing translated into 594 total yards, surpassing the Colts' 221 yards and securing a decisive win. snowy 20 degrees Fahrenheit setting with a brisk 13 miles per hour wind framed the Los Angeles Rams 24-17 victory over the Green Bay Packers. Despite the challenging conditions, both teams put up a spirited fight. The Rams secured the lead early and managed to maintain it throughout the game. The Rams' total yardage reached 299, with 156 passing yards and 143 rushing yards, while the Packers managed 257 total yards. An interception and a fumble from each team contributed to a thrilling match. In an indoor encounter with a comfortable 72 degrees Fahrenheit temperature, the Seattle Seahawks clinched a 31-24 win over the Kansas City Chiefs. Wide receiver Steve Largent was a standout player, contributing 20 rushing yards and 114 receiving yards, including one touchdown catch. Cornerback Eddie McMillan's solid performance included eight tackles, one interception, and one forced fumble. Despite the Chiefs' valiant effort, the Seahawks' offensive strategy paid off, securing 409 total yards against Kansas City's 314. The Minnesota Vikings and Oakland Raiders faced off in a 41 degrees Fahrenheit temperature with a moderate 7 miles per hour wind. The Raiders secured a hard-fought 27-21 win. Defensive tackle Otis Sistrunk was a standout player, recording five tackles, two sacks, and one forced fumble. The Raiders managed to maintain their lead throughout the game. The Raiders' strong rushing game, contributing to their 320 total yards, overshadowed the Vikings' 372 yards. And that's a wrap for this week's episode of The Extra Point. 
From stunning touchdowns to bone-chilling tackles, Week 16 has left us all on the edge of our seats. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in and joining us as we relive the magic of these games. As we look ahead to the playoffs, one thing is clear, the intensity is only going to ramp up from here. So, make sure to mark your calendars and join us next time for more in-depth analysis, expert commentary, and all the gridiron excitement you can handle. Until then, remember that in football and in life, every point matters. I'm Lance McAllister, signing off from The Extra Point. See you next time.